here we are, made it to the high country. Ready to start hitting the tracks. We're just dragging our way in. Little shortcut track here. On the map it says it's difficult, but we'll see what it's like. We are coming from, don't get me, don't get all your panties up in a knot here. I think it's Papunka, Papuka. Not 100%, but we come in from there because last time I was in the high country, I found this little way out, heaps of camps along there. And we're gonna head right down in towards Dargo, Billy Goats Bluff, maybe do that again, Pinnacles, do all the fun stuff. They've had quite a bit of rain down here, but the grounds look pretty good. So be interesting to see what these tracks are like. I'm a passenger princess at the moment. So this could be fun. first track we did wasn't super difficult it had a little rock step in it nothing crazy we didn't film anything we're just on our way now the track just across from where we are um, I think it's called twins Jeep track uh, it actually takes you all the way back to Mount Hotham Hotham Heights so is the best way we've never actually done that track but we're just trying to get back down into the bush here so we're just driving up through these little tracks taking the shortcuts as long as they're not insanely crazy um, get ourselves to camp, it's about 7.30. So it'd be nice to get in and roll a swag out and cook some dinner. Yeah, so this track proved to be a little bit harder than the last one. A bit more rocky. I'm gonna put it in the grade of like billy goats. more shaly than I thought um, this little climb my first little pinch is a pretty decent rock like it doesn't look like much on camera but and at the top of this um, track I'll show you it's all just like little rock shaly like as you can see even driving up it's just ripping all the little rocks out not super hard it's just a right amount of momentum Let's see what the rest brings us hey eh? So the track we're on is Montana track, or it's a little piece just next to it. The rest of this is Montana track and it's not far. But as you can see, the views are unreal up here. I believe over there, I don't know how well you can see it, Mount Hotham, we're pretty close to it. So we're gonna keep on going from here, get ourselves further down the mountain, closer to Dargo. See where we can get well not quite dargo but closer to the crooked river we'll put it that way crooked river track will get as close as we can so we can start doing some tracks tomorrow we're now on great dividing range track that's pretty basic track there's only a tiny little rock step in this it's only small but put the camera here get a little bit of footage a little bit rocky shaley little spot up here you get right up in all these gums they're all half dead because of the snow get a bit of snow up here I've camped up here before so we thought we'd stop and get a nice little view of the car freshly built tray by Alan's chop shop yourself beautiful you know beautiful Still in the fog or the clouds, we'll say not fog because we're high enough. So, we're trying to get down and out of it so we can sort of see a goodish, a good enough camp 
with a bit of visibility. No rain yet, but we'll give you a little view as we're driving along out here. Just cruising along, it's 9.40. The perks are having no kids, we've just got a fridge and stuff now. It got dark so fast. Yeah, it got dark pretty quick. I think once we hit that cloud, it yeah. just, the cloud cover, and it just got super dark. But now we're just cruising along, trying to just, like I said, get our way down to Billy Goats. I think that's our main objective, sort of yeah. give that a go, so we can, haven't been there in a while. And Crooked River, I wanna do the Crooked, Crooked River. River if we can get close to it, depends what we're doing. You're right where you are. Yeah, but yeah, that's our main objective. At least we're doing a bit more. We haven't been down here in a year or so. so. I haven't been down here. Yeah, you haven't been down here in two years. So no one hasn't been down in two years. I so love it. it's it's a good place. It's an awesome place. Even driving up at night here, it feels like we're in the jungle. Yeah, it feels like we're in another world. Yeah. Oh, we'll keep on rolling in. I dare say we're gonna update you once we are. Uh, wake up in the morning at camp. We'll uh, get down and once we wake up we'll give you a little update. Well, this is our second camp location for the night. First one we ended up rolling in at like 11.30. Had some food, rolled the swag out, went to sleep. And I woke up oh, 1.32ish. A big tree falling. It wasn't even windy and we weren't camping directly under big dead trees or anything, but it was like a tree in the distance that fell. And I was like, it's just not worth camping here anymore. So we drove a little bit further along. We hit this big open patch. And uh, by the time we got here, we we're like, we we're just sleep in the car easy enough. Now that we've got out this morning, it's a, not a bad little spot. And we have to cross this river a couple of times further up there. But, yep, this is us. Just um, having me morning coffee. And off we go. Heading up there. First river crossing. You can see it's sort of pumping down there. And then this is the start of the Crooked River Track, or halfway long. We're coming in halfway long Crooked River Track. Just out here walking crossings. Bottom feels all right. On the ankle deep at the moment, she's flowing, but if there's any deeper ones, could be a little bit of trouble. being a cameraman I'm because I'm walking through all the rivers I got no shoes on I'm now walking through all the mud sloshy sloshy mud <laughs> yeah, um.
gonna be first. Um, we just set up, like we just put a bit more air out of the tires. But uh, as we're doing that, four cars come up, an ADA GU, a Prado and a Jimny. So it'll be interesting to follow them and see what's going on. If they make it, we should be completely fine. But um, it should be all right. yeah, it should be right. yet but we're getting close so far so good traction's great it looks like we're in the clouds yeah getting up in the clouds again so hopefully by the time we get to the top the clouds get lost so we can go see pinnacles but um yeah traction's great tracks reasonably good condition few wombat holes here and there not that they're from a wombat but a few holes and it's been pretty straightforward really we'll uh, hopefully see how it goes and Hopefully get out of here before peak traffic. Yeah, well we haven't seen many. We've seen one at the bottom camping of Billy Goats. Um, he said no one else had been up in that morning. Then there was the four cars before us and then we just got to the helipad and there was four cars up there. They were going down rather than up. So we should have a pretty cruisy run. We only just left the helipad a minute ago. We're just cruising up through the sort of the flatty little section yeah, between the helipad. Yeah. yeah about to start slowly progressing up but not bad conditions even with the bits of rain that have been around it's um pretty dry that's what the other people said that we just ran into they said it's pretty dry it's just kept the dust down like it doesn't seem wet at all I don't know if you can see, the Jimny's just up in there and the Prado, I think they're having a bit of trouble. I don't, I'm gonna say they don't have lockers, I'm guessing. Um, we're not going super quick, we let them go for five, 10 minutes. Yeah, we filmed and Been dropping around. the GoPro and stuff off, yeah. so I'm guessing they're having a little bit of trouble. It was pretty. It is getting a little bit greasy, just because yeah. we're up in the fog, we're up in the clouds now. So it's sort of staying a little bit wet up here, but it's not horrible. There's still plenty of traction around, even if maybe they aired their tyres down a bit. Because I didn't see them air tyres down. No, no. Unless they were already down low enough. But we'll see. Up 
in the clouds now, baby. And it's all starting to get, it's not bad. Like I wouldn't say it's undrivable. It's pretty easy as you'll probably see by that part of the video, but it's getting greasy and very, very greasy, which I think will catch a lot of people out on certain line choices. You've got to be very smart where you put your wheels today. But um, yeah, good track. That is the end of Billy Goats. Well, pretty much, we're nearly just off it. It's all the muddy little section, not too wild. It's pretty straightforward. It's a little bit wet up here just because we're up in the um, up in the clouds. So it was raining a bit in the cloud. But uh, the rest of the way down now looks pretty good. It's just a little downhill and I'm pretty sure we try to get back towards Dargo from here. And there's one track from memory which we've done like two years ago, it's probably different now. Super, super boggy. So I'm gonna test that out and see what it's like. We just drove up to the top of Pinnacles, the car park. No one's camping up there and it is foggy, as you can see. So we didn't even bother stopping because like we've done it raining. once before. <laughs> it's raining a little bit because we're in the actual cloud. And um, you're not going to see anything. There's no point going that far. You're not going to see anything up there anyway. So head back down. We're going to head down. We're going to get to the top of Junction Spur, I think it is. We're going to cook something to eat. Have some food and then uh, go tackle this track, eh? is the one we done two years ago and it was nothing like that i'll see if i can put a little clip in here so you can have a look but just the start of castle hill track uh we're heading down here looking for a campground and we ended up turning around to come back because we found a another one <laughs>
blue rag or most of the way actually three quarters and um correct me if if you think i'm wrong but i think this track has better views than what billy goes bluff does we didn't see anything i know we didn't see no. nothing but you've got longer views it's longer and you can see more and all the dead trees will piece better up here Still not even all the way at the top yet. That's going to be a wrap for our uh, high country trip, little one day. We did one night, or well, we're doing two nights technically. We're going to camp on our way home tonight. But uh, I think we had a pretty successful day. We got in pretty late last night, but we got pretty close to the tracks. Billy goats, went to do pinnacles. It was too, too foggy. We we're up in the clouds. Then we drove for like oh, three hours to get out of the bush all the way down, back in Dargo, went to the pub, had a beer, drove from there, back up, done Blue Rag just then, much better views up there, which you obviously would have seen, and yeah, now we're just um, heading down the mountain, now down the mountain from uh, Mount Hotham pretty much, head down, down into Bright, get some fuel, find ourselves a camp on the way home, make some dinner, and uh, keep carrying on, hope you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and we'll keep bringing these videos uh, out to you guys as soon as we can. <laughs>